Guys, girls, today is the day that um, something I've been working hard on is finally going to be released. Something I wanted for a long time, wanted to get into the game. You could probably tell by the title of this video, but today I am launching my first plugin and I want to talk all about it. I want to show you what it's all about, what it can do, but uh, I just want to give you a little bit of background before we dive deep into it. Um, so 10 years ago, I started this YouTube channel with a sole purpose to share everything I've learned in the production game, but share it in a way that's really easy to understand so that many people can just dive into music making and just start. That was really the goal, just have easy tutorials, easy to follow along to, and just understand the concepts that are being taught. A lot of videos at the time were just very lengthy, very very confusing, and I just want to do something that's very quick, to the point, and easy to understand. And that's sort of the the goal or the purpose of what I'm a music mogul was in the back of my head was always to make things super easy and make it super relatable and just remove the friction from making music. And I hope it comes across like that in the videos. But um, along the way, I always had or envisioned the thought of creating plugins to help making certain things in the production world a lot easier. You know, some of the tools that I teach and that I show online, you know, there's a lot of steps to it and I just wanna really remove the friction that's a part of some of these steps in mixing or production. Just wanna make the whole process easier and that's really what I'm a Music Mogul is all about. So that's sort of the background. Um, this first plugin is a plugin that I originally just wanted for myself because I do this so often, so many times. I just wanted something quick and easy to like do this really, really fast. Just pull it up and it's done. No need to worry about any settings at all. So that is pretty much the idea behind this plugin and future plugins to come from I'm a Music Mogul. The idea to make music as simple as possible, but get it sound as professional as possible at the same time. Remove the friction, but make it easy to make music. Sort of a hard task to do, but I think with this first one, we nailed it. All right, so without any further ado, I've sort of kept you waiting for a long time. If you've been watching my Instagram feed, I've been posting letter by letter, and a lot of you've been guessing the name of the plugin. You probably didn't even know it was a plugin, but uh, it is a plugin, and the name of the plugin is called Duck Out, and it does exactly what the name of the plugin is, and it ducks out sounds. Duck Out is a do-everything sidechain plugin, uh, if you're used to side chaining or you know what side chaining is, uh, you can know how difficult sometimes it can be to set it up. This just removes that friction and gives you instant side chaining no matter what you do. If you want to side chain your kick to the 808 or an instrument to a vocal or just want to get that pumping or add some movement to your sounds, this is what Dugout is all about the do everything side chain plugin. So, without any further ado, let's jump into Logic and show you exactly what Dugout can do for you. All right, so this is the plugin right over here, Duck Out, the Do Everything plugin. So let's go ahead and just take you through the plugin first, and then I'm going to show you how it can help you in your mixes and your productions. So the plugin can be separated into three sections. This top half right here is your mix slider. Down over here is your punch, and this is for side chaining, which is directly linked to whatever input is happening on your side chain input and pump does not even listen to the sidechain input, it just gives you movement directly, instant sidechaining on your sounds. So and we're gonna go through each one of those right now. So I'm gonna go over to punch, and I wanna do something that um, many producers need to do all the time, it's done in productions and mixes all the time, uh, is getting your kick to punch on top of the 808. Sometimes the 808 and the kick sort of clashes, this will help bring out those two sounds and give them distinct uh, sort of separation between the two of them that you need in clarity for mixes. So here's my kick and the 808. Right now, you can barely hear that kick. So if I solo out my kick, that's what it actually sounds like. And there's my 808. So what we're going to do here is bring the duck out plugin on our 808 track. Whatever track you want to duck out or get out of the way, you, that's the track you want to put the plugin on. So we're going to go to the end of our chain and bring in duck out. And we're going to go to our side chain right over here to listen to kick seven. So we're going to go to instrument, kick seven. So now every time the kick comes in, it's going to duck out the 808. Normally for this thing, you have to open up a compressor and just dial in a lot of settings until you get it right. 
duck out it does it's sort of an algorithmic based uh plugin that's in the background it runs through its thing listens to what's coming in on the input and gives you the best settings uh two algorithms one hit wonder is for percussive instruments so anything that is like quick hits you know drums hi-hats whatever it may be percussive elements and take the lead is more for instruments vocals guitars pianos that sort of thing so we're going to make sure that our preset is on one hit wonder because we're using a kick and now i'm going to bring it up all the way so you hear what it does so that's very very aggressive you don't want that but uh, it's there if you want it uh so what that does is it gives space for that kick and just pushes that uh 808 out of the way now that's very aggressive you probably want to go somewhere down around 30 ish so now you can very clearly hear the kick on top of the 808 before it was just cloudy you can barely hear that kick if we turn on our duck out plugin you'll hear the kick and the 808 very cleanly so now you can clearly hear the kick and the 808 but yet they're still glued together uh, you can also pull up the gain if you want on the sidechain element, but in this case, I don't think we need it. Also, behind the scenes, behind like the work that Duckout is putting in, there's also an intelligent bell EQ. So it listens to whatever's on the input and then does a nice little cut on the instrument that we're sidechaining to so that it gets them uh, fitting together even more. So, so a lot of work happening in the background, but all you need to control is this mix value right over here. So that's how you sidechain your kick to an 808, for instance. Now let's take a listen to how the take the lead preset can sound like. So for this, I'm gonna go over to my guitar. And I'm gonna sidechain it or sidechain this to that so that I can bring this track out a bit more. Just because I want to stand out a little bit more, we could pretend that this is vocals, but it's just the lead guitar. So any track we want to get out of the way and let something else shine, we put the plugin on that. So we're gonna go to this plugin right here. We already got duck out on it. And I'm gonna go to my side chain and I'm gonna look for cool down slide guitar 01. Uh, cool down slide guitar 01, there it is right over there. Bring that in. We're gonna go to our take the lead preset. And I'm gonna do this once again, very aggressive so you hear what's happening. So it takes it out completely. Again, not what we want. We can pull it down to about 30. Anytime with side chaining, in this sort of way of side chaining, you want to be very minimal as possible to make it a clean signal, but get that separation. So that sounds good right there. Before it was a little bit cloudy, now it's a little bit more distinctive. We bring this in it's a little bit more separated but yet together at the same time and also on the take the lead there's also that intelligent bell it's just a little bit wider and helps sort of scoop out the area of the track that we're trying to side chain so a lot happening in the background once again all you got to do is control the mix value right over here so that's take the lead it works the same way as one hit wonder just on instruments vocals guitars pianos whatever it may be now lastly, I'm gonna show you the whole pump thing. And uh, this is something that I use all the time myself personally. It adds movement to sounds. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead to our loops here and I'm just gonna to go to, I'm just gonna bring in a pad here just to give you an idea of what this can sound like. All right, maybe we can use that. So let's go ahead and pull this in here. Now it's not gonna go with our song. We're just gonna go ahead and solo that out. So it's very stagnant, that sound. There's not a lot of movement to it. Let's go ahead and bring in Duck Out. And we're gonna go over to our pump setting. And you're gonna see what happens as I pull this up. So it gives you that instant 
pulling effect that you get in a lot of classical EDM music, classical EDM, classic EDM music. So that just gives you instant side chaining. You don't have to route the kick to the side chain. It's just instantly done on the pump setting. Uh, shape number two gives you more of like a wavy type of sound. So let's go ahead and bring this in. So this is something that's a little bit better on the more sort of medium side. It gives you a nice little bounce to the sound. And the last shape right over here is a custom shape that I've created. Uh, it just gives you a nice cool rhythm to your sound. Sort of like a gated effect. Now you can control the time as well how fast this rhythm goes. So right now on four, let's go to eight. It's gonna be a little bit faster. And the same thing is for the other shapes as well. And you can go really fast if you want. It's up to you, but. So that is duck out right over there. Oh, last thing I forgot to mention, it is resizable. A lot of the plugins that I use, I love when it's resizable. Um, so this one is resizable as well. So that is duck out the do everything side chain plugin. If you do have a question on this, definitely ask me down below. I'll be chatting with all of you down there. Uh, the link will be in the description box below this video if you wanna learn more about it. And um, that's the first plugin that helps make music a lot easier. We took a side chaining tool that could be cumbersome, could be very time consuming to get everything right. And with music, you wanna be really fast. This gets you to the point and uh, just gets you side chaining really, really quickly. Um, I made this because I wanted it myself and um, I hope you can find use for this in your productions as well. Um, if you have any idea for future plugins, or you guys will ever thought of an idea for a plugin, let me know down below as well. I definitely want to make plugins that um, help make music a lot easier, remove that friction, and just get to what you want to get to really, really quickly and make it sound good as well. Once again, that is Duck Out, the Do Everything plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this plugin as much as I do. And once again, if you do want to talk about it or have any questions, let's talk down below. That's it for me, guys. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the continued support on Ami Music Mogul and the videos, all the love that you give. It really means a lot to me. And I really thank you all for that. With that said, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.